How do y'all move to lax lives? I think it's time to play a little Seven Days to Die. So, we have reached Alpha 10. Uh, and as you can see, I have no profile. So, we're going to create one. Uh, we're going to take a look at the new character creation screen. Alright. Lack, because that's a me. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I know just the basics are supposed to be in, so some of this might not have any effect yet. Probably none of it really looks like it's having any effect. Uh, so we just got basic male-female bodies in there at the moment. Nothing else is... Oh no, that's in there. Uh, let's see. Height? Height does not do anything for me. Forehead size? Oh, that did change. Woo. Woo. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ear size. Oh yeah, that worked. Cheek size. Yeah, that worked some. Lower cheek position. Nose size. Nose inclination. Nose flatten. What in the world does that do to me here? Whoa. I've been punched in the face. Something's weird about his nose there. Why is my nose sunk into my head? Oh, I, it looks like they go to the right here. Head. Height. Head size. Ooh, you can have a tiny head. You have a big head. Head width. Forehead size. And then forehead position. I'm surprised. I'm angry. <laughs> Uh, ears, ears position, ears rotation, I can fly, uh, okay, cheek position, alright, cheek, lower cheek pronounced, alright, uh, we did that one, nose size, nose curve, Nose width. Uh, nose inclination, nose position. <laughs> uh, nose pronounced. Okay, this is probably the one I'm looking for here. Yeah, there we go. It was sunk in his head too far. I don't this is weird. He looks weird. Eye size. Tiny eyes big oh those are big, some big angry eyes right there. Eye rotation. I don't see anything there. Lip size. Yeah, let's bring those lips down. Mouth size. Mandible size. Whoa. Uh, alright, jaw size, jaw position, neck, chin size, chin pronounced, oh, I think that's a sideways here, yeah, let's give him a little bit of a chin, chin position, all right. Okay. Upper muscle. <laughs> I don't think that's human. Lower muscle. 
Dude, what is wrong with his waist? He's got a really tiny waist. Upper weight. Oh, there we go. Lower weight. Arm length. I'm sure that's fine. Arm width. Dude, what is up with these this waist, though? He must be starved to death. That's all there is to it. Starved to death. Uh, forearm length, forearm width, hand size, feet size, leg separation, leg size, gluteus size, chest size, belly, waist. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, wait, that's like... <laughs> uh, let's give him some thickness, though, man. He was like a walking skeleton there for a second. And is that bulging out, or is that just... There we go. Now he looks more like a normal person. That was just a really tiny waist. That's a really tiny t-shirt he's wearing, too, by the way. Uh, Alright, I think that works for now. I'm sure we'll put some more effort into it. Uh, Head, head. Where's my... Changes hairstyle and accessories. I need accessories. I guess we'll get one of those yet. Oh, wait. Nope. Sorry. I didn't want to create one. I wanted to go with this one. Uh, all right. So, we got to name a new one here as Lex Lives 10. And it's going to be survival, single player, random gen, uh, difficulty settings. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bump it up a little bit here. I thought it was too easy last time. So let's bump it up to warrior. Um, and then, yeah, we've got our bajillion hours of... Daylight cycle here. Uh, everything else seems to be keeping my standard settings, so. Alright, I think that should be good. And then we can get in here and check this out. I did not look at the patch notes. I have no idea what's coming. Uh, I, I don't know what made it in, what didn't make it in. I didn't even know it was 10 until I went to load it up and saw they said 10. Somehow I missed the patch. Uh, I mean, I know that Steam does it automatically while it's running, but I totally, totally missed it. Alright, so we are 8 a.m. on day one. Uh, we have... We have... No crafting window. Uh, nope. <laughs> really? What button opens my crafting window? M opens map. C for crouch. Okay, well, this could be a problem. Uh, so what I need is... I need some stones. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. My controls are not right. And then we need to find... Some... Scraggly bushes. Oh, maybe I is inventory. I don't have I on my keyboard that I normally use to play games with. I don't know if that's new zombie movement or not. I know that was one of the things they said they were going to try and get put in here. Oh, 
I was going to check my thing, dang it. Okay, he's over there a bit. That does look different, though. Maybe not. Ugh. Crap. <laughs> oh. Alright, you got nothing good. We need some sticks. Um, I need sticks. Okay. Then I need to get away from zombies for five seconds. That's a zombie. I need to get away from zombies for five seconds. So that I can construct an axe. Alright. There we go. I for inventory. Alright. Uh, oh, I'm going to need some grass too while I'm at it. I forgot about that. Alright. Uh, and then I need... Was it that? 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 No, you gotta turn this into twine, right? Plant fibers. Plant fiber. Stick. Pointy part. Didn't work. Dang it. Dang it, lady, I'm not done. Ugh. Because I'm out in the lake. Stay above the surface, though. Above the surface. Why aren't you above the surface? Thank you. Whoa, this is a little too far above the surface. Don't mind me, I am walking on the water. I am walking on the water. So, aiming up did not let me swim up. I have to hit the space bar to swim up. And now I am walking on water. Okay, uh... I need... Tools. I need... No? Is it a weapon? Quick, to the surface before we drown or something. Yeah, I know. I'm drowning. I'm, I'm heading for the surface. Hold on. Let me do my walking on the water trick here for a second. Uh... Axe. Stone axe. Okay, there we go. That's the recipe. I knew it was something. I just had him in the wrong spot. <laughs> that zombie coming for me. Alright, zombies. Now I've got an axe. Quick, you break it to the surface before we drowned. Come on. So I'm definitely going to have to uh, switch my... This is so bizarre. My controls around. And uh, and fix this. I wonder if... Uh... <sighs> Alright. Fix my settings. And now we're back. And we can start working our way... North. Now I want to head for... Uh... I want to try to head for zero zero. Let's see. Actually, zero zero south of us. Dang it. Zero. Ooh, it's over here somewhere. Zero. Zero is west of us. All right. Well, we'll head west then. Um, there's supposed to be a city at zero zero, or there was in version nine. So let's go check that out. We can get some. Decent starter supplies, maybe. I know cities are tough, so it might be too tough starting off with uh, just a stone axe here, but uh, hopefully we can find some supplies real quick and get us on our way. Um, I should probably be collecting up some of these stones, huh? Gonna need a bunch of those. 
Uh, should probably maybe take the time to put together a crossbow before we get going. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put together a crossbow real quick. Uh, uh, I switched my switched my use key to F because that's what I normally use. Um, I don't know why I find F easier to use than E, but uh, <laughs> I use F. I'm sure some game at some point used F, and that's why I use F now. Um, but I, I hate when they put it on a different key. It's, it defaults to E a lot, so maybe I should get used to E, and then I don't have to change my settings too, too much. Uh, they like to use F for flashlight a lot, and then I wind up switching flashlight and use. So my E key is normally my flash key. Flashlight key. My flash key. Uh, okay. Now, how are we doing on... Plenty of that. Uh, gonna need a lot in the way of sticks, though. Uh, we'll have plenty of sticks, I guess, so better collect a bunch of rocks while we're waiting. Um, I should have looked at the patch notes while I was switching that stuff around. Why didn't I look at the patch notes? That was dumb. Well, we can talk about the patch notes next time. Uh, I guess while I'm collecting rocks, we can talk about uh, Z Nation. So, Z Nation this week. Uh, I totally got too close to that that woman. Uh, or last week, I guess. Was, uh... It was okay. Um... It's still bizarre. I had to look up a map when this one started. I just had to. I don't think the people writing these episodes know what the United States looks like. Um, you don't go from Kansas. You can't go from Kansas to South Dakota to Utah. You can't. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I couldn't get away. Ooh, I have no clothes. I'm not infected. I'm dead. Uh, so they were in Kansas. I closed my map. I'm not good with the United States either. I only live here. And, uh, okay. Where am I? Are there new ambient sounds? I think there's new ambient sounds. Or I've never noticed them before. But there's like wind blowing and some kind of really high pitched, irritating insect. Uh, which I don't. No, they would really be out here in the snow. Um, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Dang it. Oh, yeah, right out there. My my uh, compass tells, tells me where I'm going. Uh, but so, anyway, it's back to, back to Z Nation. So they... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the... Okay, so one episode, they're in Kansas, and they get separated by... Uh, a giant herd of zombies, or whatever they call them on this show, and uh, and so then on then on an episode, they are in Dakota, South Dakota, which is north uh, northeast of Kansas, <laughs> and the other group. The other group, uh, because they, they split, and so there was the the ones in. Oh, that's a horrible noise. There's one that was in uh, South Dakota, and then there was the group in. Um, one up in Utah. 
And so they said they were trying to find him. And when they tried to group up, um, they went north and the other group went south. Well, south of Kansas is not South Dakota. I understand South Dakota has south in the name, but you can't go south from Kansas and wind up in South Dakota. Well, technically, I guess you could go far enough south that you wind up in South Dakota. But you'd have to cross, like, I don't know, the ocean and the uh, southern ice cap and the northern ice cap uh, and wing your way back around uh, through Europe, I guess, or Russia, something, I don't know. I'd have to look at a globe to see exactly where Kansas lines up. But, needless to say, you're not going to go south from Kansas to go to South Dakota. So, this week's episode, they're driving on a road in Utah. And, uh, well, first, they, they did meet up someplace. I missed I missed where they met up, but the, there was a uh, CIA, Black Ops base, wherever, and uh, so they met up there. And, um, hold on, I gotta get a drink. This is, talking is parching me out. Um, this cold is, is not agreeing with talking. And so they, uh, they went up at this black ops space and, um, <laughs> They told him there was a bunch of supplies, and then they're in a brand new truck. So, that appears to work. There's my city. Uh, and, uh... And then they're driving along, and they see this, uh, dead kid. And... While they were in the, uh... The CIA base, they, uh... Uh, Addison, who... Was going a little crazy in the, uh... The last episode that she was in... Oh, crap. Uh, apparently is really crazy at the moment. And so she, uh, like, beats this dead body. And everybody just kind of looks at her like she's gone crazy, because she's gone crazy. And so... Um... They, uh... Oh, uh, man. Why is my health not full? And, uh, so, uh, oh, this isn't going to end well. <coughs> so I have to keep stopping to cough. So, uh, they're driving along, and it's important that you realize she's going crazy. And so they're driving along, and they see this dead kid, and... Alongside the road, and they don't stop because it's just like half a person. And then they see another kid who's walking, and she gets out, and she can't. Addison's just she'll take care of it, but then she can't bring herself to hit the kid. And then they drive a little bit further after they take care of that, and they see another kid. And all the kids are dressed weird, uh, and they're all boys. And so they uh, they talk to this kid because he's alive. I thought I'd stop and see if there was anything useful. Yeah, see, look at that. And so the, uh... Oh, crap. I'm going to start dehydrating here any minute. And so the kid, uh, turns out to be from a... polygamous compound uh, in Utah. Now, they were heading past the kid in the opposite direction he was walking. The kid said he was walking to Salt Lake City, which is in northern Utah. Um, the kid... They told the kid they would take him, or if he would lead them back to where he came from, they would then drive him to Salt Lake City, uh, which was the opposite direction they were driving from, which would make sense if you were coming from... South Dakota, um, you would travel south if you went west from South Dakota to Utah. This city is huge. 
And uh, so they uh, they went ahead and uh, picked him up, and they took him back to the compound where he lives. And it's all walled off. It's it's huge. I don't. They didn't show all of it, but uh, there was some forests with walls. So th these people put a lot of time into walling this place off. It's probably walled off before. Let's face it. It was a polygamous compound. And uh, so they. Uh, they talk to uh, the people at the gate. They're going to shoot them. And they're like, no, no, we have one of your boys here. And they're like, all right, we'll let him through. And, and uh, we'll, we'll discuss the rules for those of you who can come inside. And so the rules are no men. There are no men in this compound. And once boys reach 13, they get kicked out. That's the secret. And uh, so they talk to the woman, uh, Helen, I think was her name. She's the leader of the compound. It was her husband's compound. And so her and her sister wives um, run it now, I guess. Well, Helen runs it. Uh, and uh, so what they've been doing is they go out and they collect battered women, uh, abused women, you know, that kind of thing, and kill the men and bring the women back. And so they've got a handful of... A uh, couple handful, maybe, I don't know, a couple dozen women there, and girls and boys under the age of 13, and uh, so they make the men stay outside, and then uh, one of the people on the team got her, I don't know, some happened to her leg, probably got shot or stabbed or who knows what, but they take her in so because they've got penicillin because they got cows. I'm not sure how cows equals penicillin, but whatever. I'm sure there's some formula for making penicillin that involves cow milk. Um, and, uh... Stay back, B. Stay back. Actually, no. Come here, B. Oh, now you're gonna leave. Now that I want to kill you. <coughs> and so, uh... I know I'm thirsty. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... Come back down, B. You got honey. I could use you to stop being so thirsty. Oh, crap. Are you a spitter? Dang it. Oh, I've still got stamina. Oh, I got a ton of stamina. Run, dude. Run. Don't let him get vomit on you. Seriously, they, they jammed me halfway across the world from my dead body. This is ridiculous. Uh, so, um, I guess I better hurry this up. So they, I don't know, they, oh, what was that? Oh, dang it. Ha oh, dang it. Ah, oh, dead again. Can we be somewhere near where I died this time, please? I understand I don't have a bed roll down, but... Well, that is closer than where I was. Uh, so... The, um... They take them in, they banish the one girl up. Uh, Addison, I, I can remember her name because they say it a lot. I don't, they almost never say the other people's names, so I can't remember them. Um, Roberta, I think, is the main woman's name. Doc is the old man. Uh, 10,000 the, 10,000 has a unique name. Uh, I couldn't tell you what the other guy's name is. Uh, and I really don't remember what zombie guy's name is. Um. But uh, they don't they don't use their names enough, or their names aren't unique enough to stick in my head usually. So I'm terrible at names. Uh, but uh, so they go in, and when they're in there, they uh, bring in these this woman who had been attacked by this man, and they bring the man in, and um, they take him to receive punishment. And punishment is they shove him into a barn with a zombie bear, because apparently animals can be zombies now too. Uh, they haven't established that in the show, I don't think, before this point. Or maybe they did. 
I really don't remember zombie dogs or anything. So, uh, so we'll have to, uh, see. But so they get a little freaked out about that, and then they decide it's time to go because these people are crazy. While well, Helen has worked her, her mojo, uh, her, uh, uh, let's coerce people into our cult. Because these are, these are, you know, Hey, you wanna, you wanna come join me and my wives? No? Okay, that's alright. These are the, uh, don't you understand how much better it would be if, this is all the bad things that have happened to you. Let me bring up the horrible things that have happened to you to make you shoot somebody. I want to harness your anger and your emotional pain, uh, so that you become my willing servant because I've coerced you and brainwashed you and shown you that it's safe here and you can't be safe out there uh you know and so that's what happens and so Addison stays uh everybody else starts to leave the uh the kid who's with Addison says he's not going to leave without her and uh so they shoot him in the shoulder I think and then um uh, after they shoot him uh they take off he says Yells at him to stop the truck, and uh, they won't, so he throws himself out of the truck. Says he's not leaving Addison. Um, now, this is really funny. They're in a canyon at the gate, and then they take off, and they show him take off quite a distance and around a corner and stuff. And the kid gets out, and he takes off after they talk a little bit. He goes around a corner, and... Uh, uh, and then the people on top of the canyon, where they just left, start shooting at the back of the truck. Uh, which I found a little odd. But, uh, I mean, like, I can understand some long fire distance, but everybody starts shooting at the back of the truck to chase them off. So they've left with Addison inside the walls of the polygamous... There are no men, so it's not really a polygamous compound anymore, but... With the crazies. And, uh... Uh, because she is totally not stable at the moment. She is falling apart fast mentally. And this woman took advantage of it. And, uh... But, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a zombie on the way that Addison created that's going to ruin their little compound. But it didn't happen this episode. That was the end of the episode. Uh, they left with Addison still inside the compound. Um, the kid just outside the compound. And a zombie on the loose. Not that the whole world isn't covered in zombies, you understand, but... Uh, and that was this week's Z Nation. Uh, it was... It was okay. Uh, it's... There's a little hoke to it. Like, a little hokiness. And, uh... Uh... I mean, there is to a lot of zombie stuff, so you kind of kind of just take it with the good stuff. I just wish they weren't so over the top with it all the time. Uh, I really did not appreciate these scenes with uh, one of the women took a fancy to zombie guy and uh, took him into a tent and then when she opened up his uh, opened up his shirt and saw the eight different places he'd been bitten, she starts licking his wounds. Gross. I mean, he's not, like, fully healed, you understand. It's There's still red and... Um, because he's not human anymore, and she is licking this giant patch of what looks like raw meat <laughs> that's on his stomach. It was so gross. Uh, oh, there's my bag. Thank you. Let's get that down in my hot bar. And let's get headed east from here to see if we can't get to my stuff. Let's get away from this crowd that killed me last time. Alright, I'm going to call here. Uh, I know we didn't get very far today. We did find the city. It is huge. It's going to take us a while to probably get started on that. Um, I'm going to get a crossbow built with some uh, crossbow bolts before I go in the city. So uh, it should make things a little easier until we find some better weapons. Uh, I suppose technically we could just get all geared up before we even went in. I mean, look at all this iron just laying around here. Uh, how am I on this map? 
I don't even know if I'll be able to find my, my backpack now because it disappeared and I wasn't paying attention to where I died. <laughs> uh, but I would assume it's right here somewhere on this side. So click like, your like, subscribe, be sure and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>